I am Anil Kumar and I have taken a few questions on sketching graph for the given conditions and writing their equations. And I hope this series will help you to understand this topic on relations and functions better. The question here is sketch graph of a function f of x for the given characteristics. Write a possible equation for the function. Now the characteristics given to us are the graph of f of x decreases on the interval minus infinity to minus 3 and increases on the interval minus 3 to infinity. It has a y-intercept at 4. You can pause the video, answer the question and then look into my suggestion. Now let us try to sketch first. Graph of a function decreases on an interval minus infinity to minus 3 and increases on this interval. That means it has a turning point at x equals to minus 3. Simplest graph which meets this is a parabola, right? It is decreasing and then increasing. So let me sketch a parabola. So we'll just sketch a parabola to begin with. And now it is decreasing from, we always see from left to right, right? So from minus infinity to minus 3 it is decreasing. So we are sure so that at this point we have the vertex or the turning point. And the only thing known about this point is that x value is minus 3. That is what is known to us. Another thing which we know about it is given in the last statement, which is it has a y-intercept of 4. Now 4 is much more than 3. So let us assume a point here. And this point will be y-intercept means x is 0 and y value is 4. Is that okay? So that is how we actually get characteristics of our graph. Now these two points can help us write down the equation. Remember there could be more than one equation to represent the situation. Here is probably the simplest one. I'm assuming this turning point here at uh, x equals to minus 3 so it is. Uh, so the equation will be f of x equals to uh, some value a times x Normally it is at 0. Since it is at minus 3, it should be plus 3 whole square. Right? Now, and plus some value, let me call this as C. To find A and C, we can use the given point. Now, there are two variables and just one more point to deal with. So what we will do is, we will assume uh, A equals to 1. In that case, we get our equation as f of x equals to x plus 3 whole square plus c. Now, for a equals to 1, we can find what c is. We can use 0 as x value, 4 as the y value. Substituting 0 here, we get 0 here, equals to x value is, I mean, sorry, uh, y value is 4. So we'll substitute 4 for f of x and 0 for x and then calculate right so so we have 0 plus 3 whole square plus c so we can now find c which is 4 equals to 9 plus c or c equals to 4 minus 9 and that is clearly minus 5 correct so we get the value of c from this particular point and that gives us the equation so we can say that results into function f of x equals to x plus 3 whole square minus 5. You get an idea, right? So, so that is the equation of the given function. So from here you also know that the vertex actually is at minus 5. So this point will be, will be, will be minus 3 minus 5, right? For the graph and for the values which we have taken for a equals to 1. If you take any other value of a, you may get a different answer here. However, that will also satisfy the given condition. So as you can see here, by simple logic, we can actually solve such questions. Steps involved are, when you are given a condition, look for a parent function that fits into the given situation. Since we have one interval of increasing and decreasing, that means one turning point, parabola is a good choice. Second part is, you have a variety of equations which can match. Find the simplest one by assuming 
like we assumed here a equals to 1. Use the information to find the relation. I hope these steps will always help you to find equations and to graph functions for the given situations. I'd like you to explore some more videos here and then get practice for your own test. Thank you and all the best.